Mm, lo hemos saltado. Hola amigos, my name is Maria and welcome to my little corner on the internet. Having lost almost 200 pounds and being free of diabetes, I've come up here to share some of my recipes with you. So today, I am going to be showing you how I make the Peruvian classic Lomo Saltado. It's a Peruvian stir fry normally made with ribeye or other kinds of meat. Today, we are going to <laughs> Do it with mushrooms uh, and it's absolutely delicious. Different, yes, but wonderful. Most of the work is in simply chopping up an awful lot of vegetables and it's really worth it. Lomo saltado is a Peruvian stir fry and what makes this special is ají which is a yellow pepper that is not commonly found in the States. Some people use ahi paste, and if you're lucky to find ahi peppers, then this dish is amazing. But if you cannot, you can always substitute with yellow, green, red peppers. So the first thing to do is chop. Chop, 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 and chop. Peppers, onion, mushrooms, tomatoes, everything. You want to get your sauce ready for cooking, so you'll get together a little bowl and put a couple of tablespoons of gluten-free tamari, or you could use liquid aminos, a tablespoon of rice wine vinegar, a quarter teaspoon of cumin, the juice of a small lime, and a quarter teaspoon of liquid smoke. Mix it all together and have it ready for when you start stir frying. Lomo saltado is usually served with a side of fries, so I decided to make some baked sweet potato fries. I peeled and cut a large sweet potato into wedges. I tossed it in a little bit of olive oil, salt, and spices using a little bit of paprika and a little bit of cayenne. I preheat my oven to 450 degrees and I bake them for 25 to 30 minutes. It depends on how crispy you want the fries to be. Now it's time to heat up a large wok or pan. Add a little bit of coconut oil or you can water saute. Start by cooking your onion, ginger, and garlic for a couple of minutes. Once your onions soften, add the mushrooms and stir fry till they soften up. Now add all the peppers and cook for a few minutes. Add the sauce and stir it in. Finally, you can add the tomatoes and cook them for a couple of minutes. So that's it. The dish is done. Serve it on a plate with a side of sweet potato fries. Now do keep in mind that ahi peppers are quite spicy, so you don't want to overdo it if you're not used to spice. I like it real spicy, so there you go. Hope you enjoyed this recipe. Until next time, hasta luego.